Welcome back, friends. Well, we are coming to the end of another year, and we thought it would be fun and hopefully a little helpful to end the year with our top five campgrounds of 2019. Stay tuned. Okay, let's jump right in it. We're going to go backwards five to one. And number five on the list is one of our favorites, probably our favorite lake campground, summertime campground, and that is Old Federal. It's a COE campground over on Lake Lanier. So we actually keep a boat up on Lake Lanier. Old Federal is fairly convenient for us. It's closer than most other campgrounds. It's not the closest campground, but it's certainly the best maintained. Uh, it's the best value, and it is close to town. It is close to Flowery Branch. It's, Flowery Branch is a thriving community in Hall County there. So you've got some creature comforts there. You've got beautiful Lake Lanier. It's really hard to beat Old Federal. Uh, I'll link. I'll make sure to link. We did the uh, campground review a couple years ago, but we continually go there year to year because we just really enjoy Old Federal. So number five is Old Federal COE. Next up on the list, number four. This campground is very remote, and it kind of hurt the Wondering Weekends campground review score for this particular campground, but we really enjoyed it. It's Stephen C. Foster State Park down on the Okefenokee Swamp, and uh, or the Okefenokee Blackwater Refuge, I should call it to correct myself. We really enjoyed Stephen C. Foster. You're certainly out in the boonies, and for us, we we kind of enjoyed that, for at least for a few days, certainly. Uh, there's no options to go out to eat. There's no options to go see anything else except nature. And that's kind of cool. I think that's nice to get back to nature every once in a while. So uh, Stephen C. Foster, the, the swamp boat tours, um, the dark sky area is really interesting as well. So it's number four on our list, Stephen C. Foster State Park. Continuing our camp, uh, camp down. Should we call it a camp down? Continuing our countdown, number three is FDR State Park near Columbus, Georgia. And we, I think our particular site on this trip really helped us make this decision. We had an incredible site. And on the map, I shouldn't even be telling you guys this, but on the campground map, it doesn't look like it's lakeside. I'll, I'll link the uh, campground review in the description box. It doesn't look like it's lakeside, but it's absolutely lakeside, and we really lucked out on this site. It's a beautiful site. There's lots of things to do. Callaway Gardens, Animal Safari. Uh, the park itself is huge. I believe it's the largest state park in Georgia. And there's just lots to do. Beautiful scenery. FDR was an easy number three. Coming in as our runner-up is Cloudland Canyon State Park. And you want to talk about scenery Cloudland Canyon has it. Uh, like I mentioned in the review, it's very rare that you can go from a overlook of, you know, almost a thousand feet to a sincere world-class waterfall within about 20-minute hike. So you can do that at Cloudland. Uh, Cloudland has a lot to do in the area as well. Not only do they have great hiking, rim hiking, gorge hiking, but also you've got Rock City. Chattanooga is not terribly far away. Uh, it's just, there's a lot to do. The The plateau top up there, Lookout Mountain, is pretty cool as well. Lookout Mountain Pizza is really good and convenient. We had a really great time at Cloudland. Uh, it's an easy run route. Last but certainly not least, our guess we'll call this our Wondering Weekends Campground of the Year. And maybe we should make an award or something like that. That would be interesting. It would be uh, send that down to Crooked River State Park. So Crooked River Man, I can't say enough good things about it. They really crushed it in the campground review, but uh, just the size of the sites, the uh, scenery at the campground, the things to do around Crooked River, St. Mary's, Cumberland Island, uh, the um, the maintenance of the campground, I mean, all of it just added up to our number one spot. It's easy to see why Crooked River was number one. We stayed at Skidaway, which is kind of its sister down in Savannah, and while Skidaway is a large campground, it's a very good campground, I just don't think it compares to Crooked River State Park. So our champion for this year, our favorite campground for 2019, goes to Crooked River State Park in St. Mary's, Georgia. 
Okay, friends, that wraps up our top five for 2019. So what we really love to do is develop our comment section into a resource. So if you would, if you, you would do us a huge favor by going down in the comment section and list out your, your top three, four, five campgrounds of 2019, uh, we'll see if we have any of that match. We'll get to know some other campgrounds uh, that you recommend. Uh, it would be great if we had so many people, 40, 50 people comment with hundreds of campgrounds of where we can go. Uh, that would be, we'd be so grateful for that. And it would be a great resource, especially for these newbies out there who, uh, who don't know exactly where to book. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing.